All right, folks, today we got the uh, John Deere 4300. I looked all over the internet, can't find a video. Listen, here's the convertible model, which I had to do that to get in the shop. I looked all over the internet, and the issue is the rear seal right here is leaking all the hydraulic fluid out, transmission fluid, whatever. And I can't find nothing on the internet that explains how to replace that seal so we're going to try to make a video to show how to do it all right so i tried removing the three bolts right here behind that plate is the the little plates what keeps the seal in that's not what holds the axle shaft in so i'm pretty sure what's going to have to happen is uh i'm going to have to remove this which that bar the fenders connect to it and the whole roof Assembly, so I'm going to unpin the roof right here in the uh, pivot point, as you can see. If my phone will work here. Yeah, whatever. It pins right there. These lights are really messing with my camera. Yeah, so whatever. I'm going to pull that bar out. Then I'm going to have to take, I'm pretty sure, these bolts out. All the way around, unhook my brake linkage and whatever else is behind the fender. And then I'll try to pull it off and we'll see what all falls out. But for now, I'm going to try to get the roof off and come back with a camera. had to be moved for. You gotta make sure your shafts are clean. Now we're gonna pop her a time or two with a hammer and see if it just dumps out in the floor. So uh let's see what happens here.
a big old snap ring on the back. Alright, everybody. If your axle won't come out, I'm pretty sure it's that big snap ring right there that keeps it in there. So this is all just to change the axle seal on the end because it was leaking. Right, as they get out, I'll probably show the rest of it while we take a break. Alrighty folks, I went ahead and took the big snap ring off the back side and picked that, uh, that gear up out of there. And basically flip, then just picked this up off the, uh, picked it up off the axle and left it sitting on the floor right there. Got my slide hammer and pulled my bearing out and my seal. Right there's the seal that I wanted to change. So it wasn't too bad. You ain't got to take nothing apart in the center. But one thing you do want to do, like I said, is make sure these shafts are clean because if you jerk this out of there, you're going to jerk the dang brakes and everything else apart in there if you don't clean that. But other than that, it ain't, I mean, it's a pretty good job just to change the seal, but it ain't too bad. But yeah, you gotta take all that off in the top. But alrighty, peace out, like, and subscribe, and all that.